Hi, Wayne Wells here from Chameleon Fitness. I'm going to give you two nutrition tips today. Something I believe very strong in and something that works for all you high performance athletes and all you inspiring athletes and just that person that just wants to look fabulous by going to the gym and working out. So my first tip to you is oatmeal in the morning. Some of us like it, some of us don't. Some of us have to force it down, but the true benefits of oatmeal raises your metabolism, great carbohydrates, good for all kinds of diseases, heart diseases, but it stokes your furnace first thing in the morning. Best thing about it is, it balances out your blood sugar levels so we don't get those highs and lows throughout the day. And when we go to the gym at night, we're gonna have that energy to bang out a super workout. Second little tip is cottage cheese. And I know some of you are probably looking at this video right now and cringing your teeth going, man, I hate that stuff. But again, the benefits of cottage cheese, best time to eat cottage cheese is just before you go to bed, an hour before bed. It's a slow digesting protein. It's loaded with amino acids. It's just wonderful. It restokes your muscles, helps you raise your metabolism, but you're gonna wake up feeling like Superman or Superwoman. These are just two little tricks that we can enhance our performance every day. And the more we eat this, the more we stay diligent to this, the stronger you're gonna be, the better you're gonna look, and you're gonna look in that mirror and go, man. Okay, I'm gonna show you a very interesting core exercise. This is one of my favorites. I find this to be one of my most challenging ones. And I love showing this to my clients because I love hearing them moan and groan and grunt when they do this. This is a challenging exercise. But before we start, there are a couple of cautions. If you have a lower back issue, this is not just for you at this moment. Strengthen your core first, strengthen your lower back. Make sure that you're comfortable with your back strength first. This is a serious core exercise. When I do this, I need to push my hands into the bar. I am not gripping the bar. If I grip the bar, I'm gonna shoot myself forward. I need to stabilize myself. So I will push with the heel of my hand onto the bar. I'm not overlapping my fingers. I will place my thumb on the bar. And as I do, I start breathing out. And as I breathe out, I walk myself out, get my lower back. Notice that I'm not gonna stay out here. I need to have my lower back. So I walk myself back. Now I straighten my arms. Now I feel comfortable. My lower back is on the ball. I feel in a good balanced mode. I take another deep breath in, and as I let it out, I raise my legs. And what I'm gonna do is just lower my legs to about hip height, back up. Every time I lift my legs, breathe out. Continue to push on the bar. Do 15 to 20 reps. You can supersize this between exercises or make it just one of your ab exercises during your workout. Don't be afraid to do this slow. No need for speed. Even if you want to hold it out here, hold it out. Let it down a little bit at a time. Then bring it up nice and slow. Continue. Sit back, come back. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you're just going to have to wait and contact me. I have another one that will even make your abs tighter and stronger and more ripped than this exercise itself. Sometimes we see our clients come into their personal training session and we know they're just not there 100% mental. So what we try to explain to our clients is using a term called mushin. Mushin is a Japanese proverb meaning mindless. So when the client comes in, I want him to focus on what I am teaching him, what I am showing him, what I'm explaining to him. Be it a bicep curl, a squat, I want them to be 100% focused on the task at hand, what we are doing at that moment. This can also be taken back to your day-to-day -day life, be it with your family, explaining things to your children, at work, corporate meetings, meetings that you have to organize, that you are sitting in front of people and explaining things. The task at hand is motion. Take the time, think about this, 
clear your mind, take the deep breath. Before you start the task, be prepared. Use the term motion and get through this with great success.